The University of Maryland prides itself on being a place that encourages risk taking and innovation. So when the opportunity arose to tackle one of the great engineering challenges of our time, our students and faculty rose to the occasion. A group of Clark School of Engineering students has set its sights high with a human propelled helicopter called Gamera. The challenge is one issued by the American Helicopter Society that has stumped the aerospace engineering community for years. How to keep the helicopter suspended. Sikorsky Prize asked us to fly for 60 seconds, momentarily reach an altitude of three meters, all while staying within a 10 meter by 10 meter box. Now it sounds like it's not too much, but a helicopter requires two to three times the power of an airplane because you actually have to lift yourself off the ground. The Sikorsky Prize is an incredible challenge. Human powered aircraft, fixed wing airplanes have been flying since the 1970s, but a helicopter requires on average about three times the power, even the best ones, than a fixed wing one. So there's a lot more power required from these pilots and humans, while great at many things, are really poor engines. It would actually be easier to build a steam-powered helicopter than a human-powered helicopter. The students' attempt at flying a human-powered helicopter began with the construction of Gamera 1 in 2011. They quickly realized, though, that in order to win, they'd need to reconfigure their design. This is the latest version of our Gamera helicopter. It's called Gamera 2D. It's similar to the helicopter we flew to multiple records, but now we've got a control system, so we're hoping we're able to steer the helicopter, keep it stable, and win the prize. The vehicle's enormous. It fits in a square about 100 foot across, so its longest dimension is about 140 feet. Uh, so it's about the size of a Boeing 737. It's as big as the biggest helicopter in the United States military arsenal, and it only weighs 85 pounds. One major obstacle the students face is balancing the weight of the aircraft with the amount of power the pilot is able to produce. When you're dealing with a big problem like this. It's not a simple power to lift relationship. Everyone sees the project and says, oh, why don't you just put Lance Armstrong in there? And the problem is Lance Armstrong weighs like 185 pounds or something like that. It's just too heavy. He's got a lot more power, but a lot more weight. So that we're right in this margin of finding pilots that are just light enough and as powerful as possible. Even with extremely tough requirements, Team Gamera has made significant strides toward winning the coveted prize. The University of Maryland set themselves upon this task, and since then they have shown a tenacity uh, and an engineering ingenuity in order to tackle these really tough, tough problems. They've looked at it from a systematic perspective, they've done an iterative process through the different designs, and every time they test, it's a much, much improved and refined vehicle. For a third of a century, people thought this was an impossible accomplishment, but now they're regularly flying flights of more than 30 seconds. Uh, they're flying regularly heights of you know, four and five feet, and their maximum flights have been really astounding. Despite modifications to the design, recent test flights of Gamera have had their challenges. When we came back and tested again, we had implemented a control system, but that added a little bit of weight. So while we were able to, again, do some flights that were around 60 seconds, we really couldn't get our helicopter to fly above six feet. The Gamera team is more than 40 people strong, all working together to meet their goals. Being able to make decisions with so many people is difficult, and I think we've been able to do that very effectively over the last few years. One of the biggest things I've learned, and that I think anybody could learn on working on a team this big, is patience. The excitement of the team is something that's irreplaceable. Just seeing the like glow on the rest of the team's faces when something good happens. Although the team is running out of time and space, abandoning ship, is not an option. They will reduce the helicopter's weight and train their pilots to pedal harder. What we've been trying to do in order to achieve our, our goal is cut off a lot of weight. We're doing some power reduction um, aerodynamically, physically, replacing really heavy parts with lighter nuts and bolts or screws. And then we're also training our pilots more rigorously. If we do what we think we can do, then I, th I think we'll, we'll be there.